Revelia. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelia. Send Revelia. Pavelia. Have a moment of your time. 
Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way. And I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time. Even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret Depulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows Depulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? How did Herodiana Byrne become famous by casting Depulso? She once saved orphans from a wild graphhorn by banishing it over Stonehenge. That's on Salisbury Plain. She once banished a meddlesome dark wizard all the way to Durmstrang while she was in the Alps. That one may have been exaggerated, but lots of the stories about her certainly aren't. What ended up happening to Herodiana Byrne? In her later years, she taught at Hogwarts, but only for a short while, just long enough to build a secret hall, it appears. Then one day, she just disappeared. Some say she actually banished herself. No one knows for sure. If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous ensemble. Perhaps I'll make myself a copy. Suppose I should look for... you told me about. It does sound interesting.
Valia. Rebellion. Italians and a historian's you. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones.
over the world come through Hogsmeade. You never know who you'll meet. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Garrett's subterranean concoction sound. Too obtuse. Yes. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. to have a student who actually heeds instruction. I mentioned earlier 
a Defendo can be versatile but dangerous. Good to see you continuing to practice. Professor Sharp, do you have a moment? Depends on how you intend to use it. I saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura. Mm, observant. I suppose I could indulge you for a moment. Spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin. That seems a bit more dangerous than teaching potions. Often, yes. Though, I've seen some remarkably creative concoctions brewed in my class. I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough, trying to smuggle shrunken heads of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm sorry. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart. Until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. Revelia. Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hello, Adelaide. I received your owl. Thank you for coming. You see, 
My uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... <sighs> Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. It for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I hope Adelaide's uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. Come after me. I'll stick them like a knocktail. Let's get this over with, shall we? I have things to do. Could this be Mr. Oakes's Cranrock's loyalists, just ahead? Hmm, should I take them by force, or be discreet?
Go and patrol. <laughs> Looks like I ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> I'm supposed to do this for. Someone out there? Your little moon car. <laughs> you can't stop me. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Oakes's trade journal. should investigate.
Rebellion. Formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now, to find the crooked tree. Lumos. Expelliarmus! 
This could prove dangerous. Lumos. on Ranrock's hands. Just as the map said, the crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ravenia. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a dory core feather, it doesn't hurt. Rebellion. Hurt. Hello. Oh, 
Welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising. I suppose, the cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words, never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Oh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. And what do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Revelia. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Rebellion. 